love you. This is adoration, and 
I'm honored to be your host. My name is Evangelist Mac. And we're in worship tonight. There have been a few broadcasts where we've titled them The Worship Experience. Tonight's edition of our broadcast will be no different. So we can just title it The Worship Experience Revisited. And this is just a free flow hour where I try to take my private worship. Make it public. Now, normally I'm not narrating my worship as I'm going along. So that makes it a little bit different. But you'll see as we go along this journey tonight that we'll forget that we're even doing a podcast as we get caught up in his praise and his worship this is all unscripted welcome you to come spend this time with us where we can worship him in spirit and in truth Mm-hmm. 
back to your first love. Go back to your first love. Go back, return, and let the fire burn. Go back to your And let the fire burn I just want to reflect on how God has blessed me, how he has taken just a horrible life that I had presented before him, and how he has cleaned me up. And believe me, it's still a work in progress. But I marvel at who I was. And I praise him for who I am now. And I am just so excited for the potential of who I can be. And I can be honest and admit to you all that my life was just filled with a lot of internal pride and even arrogance and it was not a healthy way to live. And trying to just go through the motions and do what a good Christian ought to do, it ended up 
not being enough for me because I had to be reminded that I needed to have a heart transformation. And with that transformation, I wanted to be able to purify that heart. You know, again, in Psalm 51, the verse says to create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. And and I'm always meditating on that verse because when I started to really think about what was going on in my life, I realized that I needed to have a heart transformation. And in that transformation, I began to be able to feel God more, reach God more, and even see God more. Hey, 
even now while we're still, we're worshiping, oh God, 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 we're worshiping, oh God. I just want to share that um, sometimes our worship gets so mechanical and it gets so just regulated by tradition that it becomes stale and sometimes we have to shut it down to get back to the truth and remember how we used to worship Jesus, it's all 
It's all about you. 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 It's all about you.
I'm so lost without my Lord and Savior. I'm humbled by the weight of his glory. You know, my beloved, here on Adoration, we had the opportunity to be in the presence of God, to experience him, to love on him, to honor him, to obey him. It's all a part of our reasonable service. And we should embrace each and every moment that we have on this earth to just be living sacrifices, as the Bible says, holy, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And to be not conformed to the things of this world or this earth, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind to show what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. That is awesome, powerful testimony in scripture to how... We ought to live our lives and dedicate our lives unto him. And tonight in worship, I'm using music as kind of the catalyst to just express myself. But in everything that we do, our lifestyles should be in worship. The things that we say out of our mouths should all exemplify the kingdom that we should always understand that we are the representation of Christ here on this earth. Now that he has departed physically, he left us with a comforter and that comforter leads us and guides us unto all truth. And we should be true in everything that we express, everything that we say, everything that we are. And I believe that if we would approach our life in that manner, God will reciprocate and bless us and allow us to draw others unto him that we may all have the opportunity someday to worship at the feet of Jesus and to be a part of the heavenly community that God wanted from the very beginning. Oh, it's an awesome day to be alive in Christ. Yes, I feel like a new creation. Behold, that old thing is put away and I'm here now as a new, new creation, a new person, a new being. Dare I say, even a new revelation that is able to spread the joy, the love, of Jesus Christ to all who are in his presence. Thank you, Lord God, for adoration and for the Win Christian Speak Talk Radio Network for allowing us to be free tonight to worship you, O oh God, to just lift up our hands and to honor you. Glory to your name, O oh God. You are worthy to be praised. No
against me
I put my faith in the fact that he's coming through. I thank you, Lord, that you're coming through. No weapon. Against me, shall prosper. No, 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 no,
Say I am strong Let the poor say I am rich Because of what The Lord has done We're coming to the conclusion of our worship for this particular program. But we thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord. We th thank you, O oh God. You've been so good to us. We just had to tell them something like this.
your goodness and your mercy your goodness and your praise